Hey, so there's still water here. Hey, in this video and then the following series, I'm going to be going through and creating a new village. Uh, this will be a good uh, how-to guide as far as getting started in the game. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go in like I'm going to go ahead and play. If I didn't have an account, I would obviously create an account, but I already have one. You see, I've already participated in a number of different worlds. Um, when you go in here, they recommend a world. This ha happens to be Houndsmore. Or if you want to pick a world that I haven't discovered yet, there's a whole list down here. And I will just randomly grab one and whoop, this one here. I'm going to do Langendorn. So I go ahead and click on the world. It's going to spin it up. And then we're going to go ahead and get right, right into it. So it's going to, when you land in a new world, I'm gonna, first I'm going to go ahead and turn off the music because I really don't want the music. So down here in the toolbar, I can click off sounds, and I can click off music, and there we go. So now I've got a nice quiet video that I can talk about. Okay, so here you have a little guy here, uh, Ragu, comes up. He's going to give you some advice on starting your new village. Uh, so if you've never started a village before, uh, you can follow along with what he talks about. He kind of shows you the mechanics of the game, uh, walks you through just like any other uh, intro tutorial into a, into a game. Uh, kind of a hands-on, you click the hut, you place the hut on the spot, they specify, you see it builds it. You Great, you got some You got some population now from that group. I'm not going to go too deep into the specifics of what's actually happening in the game, more about the mechanics of uh, getting off to a running start in the game. So here he shows that your buildings produce coin. I click on the coin, I harvest, basically harvest the coin, if you will. It shows up in my coin bar up top. Very good, the coins have been added to your stock. Then I can go over here to build. You notice this little uh, toolbar down here. You've got build and you've got a bunch of different things we'll cover in later videos, but build is kind of the key one, the core essence for getting started in the game. You're gonna click on the one, second one here, second icon here, which is the hammer. And then this is where you actually build uh, production buildings. The one is the houses give you population and coin and then the the hammer little the hammer shows you all the buildings that are production buildings where you can gain. Um, he's going to show you here. You drop that in. Actually, I'll come back to that in a second. And then here, I go in, and this he's going to show you how you move. See how I'm not connected and the road's not connected? I click on move. You select the target building you want to move. And I don't know if you see my mouse moving around. You can move it around. And here we got to make sure it connects to a road. Connect to a road. It updates it, and there it is. Um, it won't build buildings, nothing will build if it's not connected to a road and it needs one. It'll just sit there uh, with that little icon showing you that it's it's not, can't do anything right now. So when you move it to somewhere where it can start, and then that little build timer starts. So click on 100 to produce the trophies. And this is the production side of things. And see different time intervals do different production schedules. So five minutes you get eight, 15 you get 17. You notice it decreases over time. So one day, 203 total, but in eight hours you get 101, which would be what, 303? So you're kind of sacrificing 100 points for the convenience of letting it run a full one day. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that, the five minute production. Soon the supplies will be ready. Great. And then before I go to where he's at, well, I guess I'll have to. I don't really have a choice. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to click on the research button, and that's what this is with the two uh, two glass beakers. And this shows you your forge point bar up at the top. And what I'll do is in another video, I'll kind of go over the specifics in this. I'll just kind of follow along with him for a little bit here and then kind of go from there. So research requires forge points. Okay, good. You get a forge point per hour um, of real clock time so even if you're not online it still accumulates but the max it will accumulate is 10 and at 10 it kind of stops accumulating until you use them and free up some of the space in the bar so uh, here he wants me to go ahead and research you have a development tree we're in stone age right now and uh, tribal community basically means we establish the community you got that by default and then bronze age is the next era and then you have different development paths so he wants me to go ahead and build this stilt house and I'm going to use three of those 10 points. And it tells me that I unlocked Bronze Age because I built my first thing in that new age. And then it gives me the special bonus, this little reward for hitting a new era, a new age. 
Um, so I'm going to get 120 coin, 120 um, supplies, and then two forge points plus five metals. So we'll cover all that later. So I go ahead and collect that. And you see now, yay, I've reached Bronze Age. I've used the forge points well. Okay, good. You notice up here, I had 10. I used three, so I had seven. I got two more, so it adds it in there. Now, if I see if it'll show me here now. Nope, because I'm in the tutorial. I can't show you that now. But if you do a mouse over, it tells you how long the countdown is to get the next one developed, um, the next forge point created. But Okay, so he now he wants us to go to regenerate a rate of one per hour. He's telling us the same thing I just told you. Go back to the city. It tells you my building just advanced because I'm in the next year. Your main building uh, will go ahead and – here's oh, hey, welcome to Bronze Age. Um, the main building is going to go ahead and update to whatever the – your current era's uh, main building is. So each – it's going to look different in every era. Um, that's how you – actually, that's how you can tell what era you are or what your other players are. Just quick, quick look at their main building and you'll be able to tell. So – I'm going to keep this one short, so I'm going to kind of do one more piece here, and then I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and resume in the next. But my happiness is important. Let's talk about happiness. So go to happiness. That's the little uh, the little tree icon, the little bonsai tree, and I'll build a memorial. You know, memorial is just a little statue. I place it. It takes two seconds to build in the early days. Wonderful. I get happiness for my people. Um, and then he's, now he's going to talk about story quest lines. So maybe I'll just do this video all the way through this base tutorial. So uh, here on the story quest line, it tells you what you have to do and what is your reward. And then he tells you a little bit about that. Okay, so now I want to go in here. And he wants me to build a stilt house, which is that new building we unlocked. So I click on build. And then I place it next to the road so it'll build. And you'll see the little green check mark over here. It means that story is complete. And I can go and collect my 100 diamonds and two spear fighters. Now, real quick here, spear fighters, we'll talk about military stuff later, but the diamonds are really important to know. Um, in this tutorial, basically diamonds are are where the money is in this game, the real money, the hard money. Um, you get diamonds, a little bit of diamonds here and there throughout the game. Diamonds let you do things that normally take time and resources. Um, you can do a diamond, you buy them with diamonds, and they're instant or, you know, whatever. You can build stuff out. You can get bloopers. You can do everything in the game with diamonds because that's that's the money back end of this game. Uh, you can play this entire game for free. I have done it pretty much for free. I've spent in eight years playing this game. I've spent fifty dollars, fifty like real dollars, um, buying diamonds to build uh, rogue hideouts. We'll talk about that later. But it was something I did boy probably six years ago. I spent fifty bucks. I got a pile of diamonds because it was a good deal, and then I bought those buildings because they were back then they were really rare but we'll talk about that in another video but either way diamonds you want to if you collect them you don't want to squand necessarily squander them because you can use them for some really more valuable things later and they give you some of these early diamonds uh, some diamonds free early in the game in some of these quests to kind of get you familiar with them so my advice is when you get these early ones keep them and you'll a hundred diamonds Today is worth a lot more down the road than it is today to build the little building they're going to show us here in the next couple couple uh, steps. So I'll go and now collect. With all that said, you see my little diamond bar. I've got 134. This diamond bar goes across all of your worlds. So if you add if you add diamonds in one world, this is you as a player, not as this world. So I could play these 134 diamonds in another world if I want. Uh, so that's something that's very important to know. Your all other resources and everything else is specific to this specific world except diamonds. So, okay, so I received a gift of diamonds, blah, blah, blah. They're very valuable. Yes, they are. They're very helpful in the game. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the build. He wants me to build this longhouse. Okay, so this is where I'm going to differ from his little tutorial because a longhouse is going to cost me money. So if I click build... Um, I believe the longhouse is going to cost me 100 diamonds, and I I really don't want to do that. I don't think I have a choice, though. I think in the tutorial, this this piece you're forced to. Yeah, see? It spent that 100 diamonds. I didn't even have a choice. Normally, uh, you can set notifications. I think they're on by default, where it notifies you if you're going to spend diamonds. So if you accidentally click on something, it says, hey, do you really want to spend these diamonds? And you can say no. But I don't think I had a choice on that stilt house. I think that's just part of us this storyline. So that said, you notice my diamonds dropped down to 34. 
okay now i can harvest i can harvest my stuff or you know i can pick up everything from all my buildings that produced and you see the little like sleeping moon here that's telling me that you have a production building that's not currently producing so i will click on my production building and pick what schedule i want 5 15 1 hours one final bit of advice and i'm going to wrap up here in just a second uh early in the game you're going to be grinding out these five minutes because you are going to need you're going to need some uh some stuff to continue to build stuff and unlock stuff and you know advance your you know uh your village so i'm just going to keep grinding these five minutes the key thing is with a five minute versus a 15 is you got to be on top of it because it's only a better value at five minutes if you are it's only a better value at five minutes if you're on it because if i kind of slack and let six minutes pass between the different five minutes i might as well just done a 15 and got my 14. so and then also if you're going to be offline for a long time you'll want to use a longer time so you you don't get as much but at least you get some decent decent production while you're away so when you come back you get something to something to harvest so okay that's it for this one uh real quick super quick intro um to the basics of the game so basically we are up and running um, come back to the next video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about this or anything in particular you want me to, to dive into in these videos because I'm just going to kind of free play through um, the game and kind of give you some tips and tricks and my personal preferences. Obviously, there's 100,000 ways to play this game. Uh, this is how I do it. I built 8 or 10 worlds, uh, 8 or 10 villages and 8 or 10 worlds over the last, uh, I want to say, 8 years, so something like that. Um, and this is what I've learned in my time playing. So hopefully this will help you. Um, either get a running start into a new world or just getting introduced to the game. So again, please, uh, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please leave them below. Uh, what's your favorite aspect of the game? Uh, just throw that in there too. I appreciate it. And uh, if you would, please subscribe. This will really help help uh, get this message out so other people can see this and learn and, and get the opportunity to, to advance. So uh, that's all I've got. Thanks. See you in the next video. I should be releasing these every couple days or maybe even every day in these early ones uh, because I'll be doing a lot of uh, quick advancements and it would be kind of neat to watch a brand new village come up and get up to uh, a good sustainable level. Okay, take care. This is Sir Stillwater. Have a great day.